summer 2019 is pretty much over, but you know what? Before it officially is over, we gotta go on a tropical summer house tour of my house. So let's do it. As usual, we're gonna start things off in my living room area, and already I'm sure you can see there's a lot of summery goodness occurring in this room. Let's start off by checking out my coffee table where I have a hollowed out tropical sea turtle that can hold a bunch of fruit. This thing was expensive, but I got it on sale. It's one of my favorite pieces. On the couch, as you can see, we've got some shark plushies and tropical pillows. And then just above the couch, I have this huge painting of an ocean wave crashing. And speaking of huge, I have this large, it's like eight or nine feet tall palm tree. I got this from Marshalls and it was only like a hundred bucks and I'm bad at taking care of plants so it's nice that it's fake. Over here is one of my favorite pieces. This yellow surfboard is actually from the Jaws ride at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. I'm obsessed with the Jaws ride uh, as I'm sure you will see through this whole video. And then just across the couch I have this really cool sectional piece with a Jaws throw blanket on it. And then over here, I have a lot of stuff going on on these shelves. Everything from some tropical netting to some tropical birds, some tropical vases. It's tropical everywhere you pretty much look. I really like that little buoy. I'm a big fan of buoys. It's just something about that design. Check this out. This is a very heavy, large bronze hammerhead shark. Look at that. It's actually quite large. I wanted to put my hand there for scale, uh, but my sister gave me that for Christmas. I'm also really big into these like glass jars that have netting over them. There's something so tropical about that. I've got a coconut, little coconut man on a pedestal, and then a, uh, you know, some tropical lays around it and whatnot. I'm really, I'm big, I'm a big fan of this guy. I got him from Florida, actually, when I used to live there. Over on the corner, I have a bunch of tropical bags. I'm probably saying tropical way too much in this, in this video, but uh, we got <laughs> some bags from Marshalls. We got my favorite fruit, by the way, is pineapples. Volcano Bay is a really cool water park by Universal, and I had to get this bag because it has ropes as handles, and they're very thick. I've got a little plant here that actually is real on the side of the couch. I'm very bad at taking care of plants, like I said, so that'll probably be gone pretty soon. Let's make our way into the kitchen, though. On my table, we've got two things that I'm a pretty big fan of. I have this little display with Cap'n from Nintendo's Animal Crossing game in a nice little beachy scene with seashells and everything. This is my favorite character from Animal Crossing, so he has to be represented. And then I have this awesome fruit holder, which is an octopus holding your fruit in some sort of a seashell thing. I'm a big fan of fruit. Fruit is delicious, and it's healthy, and it helps us in a large variety of ways. On my refrigerator, I have a collection of shark magnets that are given to me by Nick and, uh, and uh, his wife, who is my cousin. Now over here on the shelf in my kitchen, there is so much stuff going on, I don't even know where to begin. So I think we're gonna take this piece by piece. Up first is this little uh, instrument. It makes summer noises. I don't really know how to play it, but it's from Aruba. I have a birdhouse in my house because it looked very summery, and so I just put it in there. Oh, over here, this stuff's kind of cool. Um, there is a, there's some seashells, but I have this deep sea diver helmet from Hobby Lobby, and I stuck some plants in it to, you know, add to it. This is a picture frame from the Pirates of the Caribbean, one of my favorite rides at Disney World. I've got some wooden puzzles, which I'm terrible at, so we're just gonna move on and not talk about those, but I like the way they look. Got a cute little pelican sitting out here next to some pink flowers. He's got a little fish in his mouth, by the way. And this is something I never use, but it mixes alcoholic drinks. It's very heavy and large, and it's a shark. I don't drink, but I like the way that looks. And then I got some, you know, like various little sculptures and statues going on and a lot of plant life. I really like this one. It's made out of like a sand kind of material. Again, it's kind of heavy as well. This little guy reminds me of um, Crazy Red from Animal Crossing. It's like a weird little fox statue that I put some, some grass in. And then on the very top, of course I gotta mention this, I got a big old wooden whale. And speaking on the top, above my cabinets in the kitchen, I've got some wooden fishies. I've got a treasure chest with my little flamingo, little tin flamingo hanging out in the back. We got a little octopus seashell thing to put some candy in. There's no candy in there yet, but I, I probably should have put some in there. I don't know if I ever did, actually. Naturally, you gotta always have a watermelon handy in the summer season, and I put it in this glass leaf uh, bowl. Check this out. I have a huge tiki head. This is one of my favorite and oldest items for my summer decor. It's just a big tiki head. And on top of it, of course, 
I put a cute little bird. I think he's a parrot or something. Parakeet? I don't know my birds. We're going to move on to the bathroom. And on these shelves, I've got some crabs. I've got some various picture frames. We've got a seahorse and some starfish in a bag, which is where I keep my starfish. A lighthouse. Just a bunch of cute things going on. I like this um, shark jaw. And then I've got a beanie baby that is like a moray eel coming out of it. Over in the sink area, there are a few things of interest, I think. Um, for one thing, I bought this seashell, and I thought that would be perfect next to the sink. I like the way it reflects underneath there, so it looks like I have two of them. See? That's how you save money. I got this cute little light-up jar, very tropical. Like I said, I like glass jars. And I got coconut soap, and it's the good kind of soap. It's the kind that magically lathers up just by pumping it out. I don't know how that works. <laughs> I've got some summery towels. These are actually given to me by Nick's children for my birthday, among some other things. And then I've got pictures. I don't know if I've ever shown you these pictures above my toilet. They seem kind of fancy. They make me feel like I'm a, like I'm rich. They look like something that would be in a rich person's house. But I'm not really rich, so we'll just pretend. Oh, and by the way, even my body wash in the summertime is summer themed. We got some Kraken Guard Old Spice. This stuff smells really good. And yes, I did jump in the shower just for those shots. Oh, check this out. There's this. This is an amazing tin candle holder lantern. And it's got these wonderful palms all around it. I, that's one of my favorite pieces. So we're moving on into my bedroom. It's a feast for the eyes. Naturally, I got Super Mario Sunshine going. There's stuff all over the place. Where do we begin? Let's begin with the bed. I've got a new bedspread. It's very tropical, summery, lots of green leaves going on. And then you might notice the back of my wall is now an unbelievably colorful, beautiful mural with all sorts of little details. I like looking at these details. I still find things even months after having that up. There's palm trees, and this is where I want to live. Like, I wish I could jump into my wall. And then I've got, I love this blanket, this throw blanket of like these pineapples. And of course, I've got my big shark that I won from Universal Studios from the Jaws ride. He just kind of chills on that bed and waits for me to snuggle with him. But he is, as you can see, from Amity. Look at this, this, this little pillow of some tropical turtles. How many times have I said tropical in this? I'm never gonna, it's gonna keep going. Uh, and then I have a shark uh, foam surfboard thing. I forget what those are called, boogie boards. Next, we're gonna move over to the TV area. I've got some Japanese GameCube games, some of those vintage little McDonald's Happy Meal toys, and then this little weird thing where I keep seashells. Oh, by the way, the Mario Party 5 box has holographic glitter. You guys know, obviously, I love that. Look at that, that's amazing. Got Mystery Seti, we got Alamar, a Goomba. We got, check this out, this little shark, he's really weird. He feels very wiggly, the way that he's built. I kinda like it. Um, he's got a little wiggly tail, look at that. And then I also have, of course, the Switch. I don't play that a lot, but I have this little glowing Mario thing going on. I got my little picture of my Daffaroo, my dog, and, you know, Donkey Kong. There's some sort of gaming-related stuff kind of underneath there. These are some of the DVDs I watch in the summer. I love to watch ALF in the summer. The Burbs is a great movie. We've got some SpongeBob. we got every episode of Mama's Family, almost. I've got some magazines. This is for Doshin the Giant. It's a Japanese art magazine. Mario Party 4 game guide. Got some Animal Crossing stuff going on up here. You know, maybe not necessarily summer-themed, but to me, this is all very summery. I got some stuff on this little shelf. Sharks and octopi and oh look at this i got this from volcano bay as well it holds like your beer but i don't drink beer so i just kind of keep it on display there it doesn't really work with a water bottle but it has great art over by my computer things are absolutely insane we got stuff all over the place this is the shelving unit i put above it there is some classic stuff we've got a meanies beanie baby thing we got a jaws mask pink panther alf and then we've got some McDonald's Happy Meal toys, more Jaws stuff. Look at this. So this is one of the few things that I was actually able to buy from Universal because the ride is closed. It's a little keychain. I got this from the Jaws ride in Japan, but I bought it on eBay. It is a little pencil case, and look at inside. You open it up, and you can actually see the insides of the shark. Got a little Jaws logo pin. Got some classic trading cards from Jaws 2 and Jaws 3D. They're not even opened. It's kind of a neat little thing. This is a Jaws ride mug from Japan. Looks like the beautiful shark herself is bursting out of your mug. This is another little case that you can put stuff in, kind of a purse, and when you look inside here, you can see that, that the shark has eaten a little surfer. Oh my god, wait till you guys see this. So these are little treats that you could buy at the Jaws ride in Japan. Look at these things. Look at how amazing, it looks like a shark. They're like little peanuts and crackers inside, but that is some amazing top quality packaging. That's a summer snack and a half. 
Got a little Jaws bobblehead, kind of bobbles around on the water. Really high quality, very cool item. I think that was given to me by my sister as well. Even my phone charger cable is summer themed with a little shark on the bottom of that. How cute is that? On the top shelf, we got some more gamery things going on. That Wii U box was given to me by a friend, Dan. We got uh, Judd on top of there, a whale. That's just a really great box for the Wii U system. It was like a special edition. Got some amiibo. Okay, this is a little weird. I love Otter Pops. They remind me of summertime. So I got some, and I just kept the box because it's a pretty cute little box. Got a light-up pineapple. This was given to me on my birthday by Nick's children. It's very neat. It's very relaxing. I like having that on in the summer. No summer would be complete without some root beer. So I got some little root beer candies there. Very good. Check this out. This is an unreleased Peter Pan Disney Infinity figure. I kind of got it from China, and it's very hard to get, very expensive. This is a little painting of my Daphne who passed away. She's my favorite little girl, and uh, it was done by a friend of mine. And I keep her next to this cool tiki head that, that looks like it has a fire going on. Underneath here is where I keep some more stuff, but first of all, I gotta talk about my Nightlight, which is also a dispenser of sweet, summery scents. Got that from Bath & Body, I think. So these are some of the games I play. Naturally, Wii Sports Resort. We got some Zelda there. Mario Sunshine, of course. Thousand Year Door is amazing. Great for summer. Wave Race for GameCube. Mario Baseball, my favorite Mario sports game. Boom Blocks, very good summer multiplayer fun. The Munchables reminds me of it. And of course, Captain Rainbow, one of my favorite games on the Wii. Got some good little stuff. The sun's starting to go down. We got some candles lit. As you can see, the candle is inside of a coconut shell. Got this little little owl checking out the flames there. Huge tiki head on the side of my desk. I love tiki heads. They're very appealing to me. And more of that glass bottleware. Look at this from the Jaws ride. It's a little keychain that you pull and he eats the, eats the swimmer. And inside of this glass bottle is a little Easter egg of Olimar from Pikmin. He's, I don't know if he's stuck in there or if he's just peeking out. This is a giant bird, one that you might find at the beach. So as you can see, my room is just kind of chuck full of summery, colorful goodness. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this summer house tour. Like I said, summer is kind of over for 2019, but maybe you're watching this next summer. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I might not go as crazy in the summertime with my decorations, but it is very, as I've said about a million times by now, tropical.